then rest stops came, more and more layers are building on our technology world, and it's complicated. And, and the bottleneck in all this is storage, and, and we keep on coming back, David, to storage. Yep. Good old boring storage, or yep. storage as Dave Vellante was saying, but it's a sexy part of the equation. I mean, it is a bottleneck in the operations cycle. Yep. And and uh, companies uh, you know, that are looking into this flash, like Fusion IO, uh, uh, have the potential to make a huge impact on the, the architectural design of the systems uh, that are going to come in the next 10 years. I have to go on a, a slightly different subject, and, and that is uh, this change in all our lives, or most of us, <laughs> and, and that is the time we spend on the web with places like Facebook and I don't know what that's going to do to our diet and our health but but I have to make a, a, a slightly different observation which was made by Tim Berners-Lee the inventor of the web and he said he finds Facebook a little alarming he said he's spent his career trying to design the web so that nobody could could uh, take charge of it and, and particularly had it in mind governments taking charge of it he says but Facebook is a huge private venture with uh, which is growing as, it, as is Twitter that's right, Twitter, Twitter. These are social utilities that are integrating into people's lives, and, and that's right. they're not open, that's technically right. not open. That's right, and, th and that's really very interesting. Is there any views around some of the, your colleagues at MIT and around the world around how these operations could be transformed and be quasi-open? Is there any... That uh, is the uh, open source, and MIT has what it calls uh, open open courseware. It, it decided early on there was a lot of notion in, in education a, f a few years ago about universities essentially running uh, big educational operations and MIT decided no it wouldn't. It would essentially give away the, the software uh, and, and video and what have you uh, that uh, that was in MIT courses to anybody in the world. Let's talk about some future. And, that, kind of. and, and just to reiterate, the Wikibon is about an open source of research uh, where we give away uh, the research. Wikibon.org is an uh, open yeah. research platform where yeah. the, the content is free. Content is free, exactly the same philosophy as, as MIT. And, you know, our business is not, is, is improving that research. As is SiliconAngle.com and SiliconAngle.tv, of which we have to lower our latency and increase our transactions. <laughs> but, but we will apply Little's Law certainly to that. Um, question on the future. So, you know, just this is kind of just a, uh, this is going to make you uncomfortable, I'm sure, but, you know, um, this kind of gray, gray area is not black and white. But you talk about Taco Bell. I think about Taco Bell, I think about banks and bank tellers, and I think about McDonald's and In-N-Out Burger and all those franchises. They all have drive throughs But back in the day when I was a kid, not everyone had drive throughs So someone must have applied some Little's Law and said, hey, we have people in cars, we can put drive throughs in, and, you know, all that math that goes into cycle times and adding another teller it's you know it's, it's typical operations theory um, is what has happened will there be something like a drive-through that's going to be a breakthrough in our social lives with computer technology what is there any any vision around these new latency busters any, any things out there that might create better latency for us in our in our life is it mobile phones is the mobile phone an opportunity for transactional Oh yes, efficiency. Well, it's certainly going that road. Dave, do you have any vision on there? Just <laughs> speculation. I mean, it's yeah, something it, I think about it. It, it is. Uh, uh, if the quicker we can do things, uh, if you apply it to our own lives, the quicker we can do things, the more things we can do um, in our lives. Uh, 
and uh, if you can do the transaction quicker or on your phone or on the move or when you've got downtime yes it has a it, right. it has a direct uh, relationship to uh, uh, the potential quality of our life whether we choose to spend it uh, to improve the quality that's a personal decision <laughs> <laughs> well I find that um, with all these things that I can do so quickly and fast with email and, and uh, on the web and what have you um, and communicate with my students why I can work 24 hours a day <laughs> it's a dangerous topic we all we all are mobile um, we're here at the extraction point with John Furrier with uh, John Little from MIT who invented Little's Law pioneer in what, what's called as marketing science which is quite quite popular these days with, with the access to data and David Floyer co-founder of wikibon.org a uh, cutting edge research firm that gives away its data for free um, final question for John uh, Little um, obviously your career has been storied career, you have a great reputation, um, and you're out talking to all the young engineers and young guns in the, in the in computer industry. Um, is there any advice you can share with folks out there that are watching that uh, either uh, may go to MIT in the future or have gone to MIT or, or are who are inventing the future? Is there any advice you want to uh, uh, convey to them? I think they're doing fine. <laughs> and. Um, uh, and, and only advice is, you know, well, at, at school we used to say that there were 24 hours in the day, and the, 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 the first shift was for your homework, the second shift was for your job, and the third shift, you could do anything you wanted. So, advice is, use your shifts. Do whatever you want. Be creative. Invent the future. Apply Little's Law. <laughs> Increase your transactions, whatever that may be. Thanks for coming on the Extraction Point. We appreciate it. And we're going to come right back and do a deep dive with David Floyer and get into the, into the, into the deep dive data uh, science behind uh, some, some of Little's Law's applications. Um, so thank you for watching. Ricky, that's a wrap.